Okay, so one thing about the kitchen, this is a beautiful, nice, thick granite and uh, very tastefully done. A uh, beautiful sink, double sink, and it's wide enough for you to put pots in there and everything. And like I said, brand new appliances. So here's the um, blinds. I wanted to show you the blinds in the house too. So you have this little uh, up and down motion here. Very easy to use and they're inside the glass. A really cool feature. I love it, I think it's great. This door is wonderful to have this second door here. You're gonna park probably in the carport and then you don't have to go through that front door and come around with your groceries. You're gonna come right in this door and then bring your groceries right here and you're very close to the kitchen. So that's kind of a nice feature to have. I really, uh, I really think that's a great feature to um, have in this house. And the total square footage of the house is 1755 and that is on public records as well. You do have a pantry here. And you have a little utility closet right here. So you could put a vacuum, brooms, and things like that in that closet. But it's nice to have the pantry. They really utilize the space nicely in this home. We're gonna to come to the first bedroom. And this bedroom is 11 by 12. Uh, on multiple listing, they have it as 11 by 14, but they were including the closets in multiple listings, so that's a mistake. You have to take two feet off. All new blinds, of course. Everything is new. New baseboards, new carpet. You really will not have to do anything when you move in this house, it's turnkey. And the closet goes from side to side. You could probably do something different with the closet if you needed to, with California closets if you wanted. This is one of the air, hand, air conditioners. It's from June of 2019 it was installed and it was permitted. This is the second bedroom. Uh, this one is 11 by 14. Once again, on multiple listing, they listed it as 11 by 16, uh, but it is 11 by 14, so it's not a bad size room. And once again, you have the closet. And once again, you know, it's a nice size closet, but you can do California closet systems. All the rooms have fans, they have lights. They're pretty nice. They're all new, new carpet, new doors. Everything that we're looking at is newly painted, freshly painted. This is the bathroom. It has a jetted tub. Very nicely done, the sink is brand new. Very tasteful colors. Nice lighting. All the lighting fixtures in the house are really pretty. Very tastefully done. And we're coming back out into the living area. And there's a lot of room here. You can do a lot with this space. So Chuck is going to just pan around so that you can see. This is the kitchen. And that's when you first walk in. A lot of living space here. Tons. And this is living space as well. This room that we're going to be going into now with where the fireplace is. This is an addition done years ago. This room is beautiful. This could really be a, a very, very nice, uh, beautiful room to utilize. Um, it's a wood-burning fireplace. This is all new stonework that was done. 
You might want to do a fireplace inspection since you know they don't know whether it works or not. That's something that you could get done, especially if you want to use the fireplace. And one thing I love about this addition is that they did a lot of nice lighting in here. You can see beautiful uh, window placements up there, just really pretty. That lets in a lot of nice natural lighting. And then you have the French doors that goes out to the back. This room they're saying is 13 by 18. That's the size of this room. So that's probably correct. Um, off this room, now, so you know the two bedrooms were on the other wing, then you come this way, and this is going to be the master bedroom suite and wing. This is the master bathroom. You have double sinks. You have a gorgeous shower. And once again, you have a beautiful light up above, which will give you natural lighting. And the shower is really done very, very nicely. And nice lighting again in the master bathroom. You have One thing I do want to show you is the faucets. So I don't know if you can see them or not, but it turns color. And that has to do with the temperature. So right now it's blue. And when it gets hot, it will turn red. So that's kind of cool that it changes um, color with the temperature. Beautiful light fixtures. Can you see those? Okay. Nice, just even these, just the towel bar holders are pretty. And they all match, which is great. Everything's new. You know, these are beautiful. If Chuck showed the inside of the shower, you will have a waterfall up top. And then inside here, this will be a direct spray and then a bottom spray. And you also have a handheld. And then you also have the bottom. You have a place for shampoo. And you also have a beautiful bench. This is done extremely tastefully done. And a really pretty shelf up there. And we're going to walk into the master. When you walk in, there is a linen closet right here. Can you see that? So that's a good place for your towels for the bathroom. And the master is 13 by 13. So it's not a bad size. Once again, for the closets, you can do California closet system in here to make it a little bit better than just the wire shelves if that works for you. Lots and lots of natural light in here. And the room has gorgeous high ceilings. Nice fan. How high do you think this room is? 18 foot? No. It's about 18 foot ceiling to the top. It's very cool in the house and we're supposed to have a heat wave today. <laughs> and it's nice in here today. You have a lot of privacy even though like that window is open and that one, you would never have to probably put any um, any kind of blinds or anything on there. You're not getting direct sun in here. Um, no one can look in, it seems. So a lot of nice privacy as well as uh, beautiful lighting that comes in. This right here is the second air conditioner. Of course, you know, like you're gonna have an inspection on it. That air conditioner is from June of 2010. We actually got a ladder Chuck went up and looked at the date. So that one's from 2010. And right off the bedroom, we're gonna go outside.
And this is your uh, very, very large porch, which is all screened in and really lovely, um, which is great. Um, you do have a canal here, so having a screen porch is something that you would definitely want around here. And once again, you have new light fixtures here, and we're going to go outside. You do have this other set of French doors here. And this goes into the house and again. This goes into that room with the fireplace, just to kind of tell you where we're at. So you have two sets of French doors. One goes into the master bedroom, and one goes into the living area. So it's nice to have the French doors right off the master bedroom. backyard is 30 by 60. Uh, they did say that you could put a pool back here if you wanted to. You probably most likely would remove the deck that's here right now. That's a brand new deck they built. Um, but then you'd, you know, you'd be building your own pool and arranging it however you want. The, the yard is fenced in. Since you have a little one, you probably would want to put, you know, a barrier here so when, she, you know, that she does not fall, but then you would definitely want to put a fence there, um, you know, to protect her from the water that's here. Um, they have a fence, I don't know if Chuck can show you, they have a see-through fence. If you didn't want to put a fence where you, you lose your, you know, seeing the water so you could do something like that but you can get with a fence company and decide what kind of fence you want um, from what I've been told is that you can't put a boat here but you can launch a kayak or something like that here it doesn't look like you could do anything else with this but this is very pretty it's beautiful would this go out to the bay? Yes. Yeah, this goes out to Tampa Bay. So it's kind of cool to be able to um, go out to Tampa Bay with this, which is fitting. And behind Chuck, there is a cypress tree in the yard, which is really nice. And they also have a fire pit. It does get a little chilly here at some nights. <laughs> so a fire pit is kind of nice. So the entire yard is fenced in except for the back, so you would definitely need to put a fence in the back, which is no big deal. Not the back, along the water. Along the water, yeah. yes. Yeah, you would need to put a fence along the water. And then you see, roof is from 2009. Nice big porch. And we can show them the other side too. So you can see there's a gate there as well for you to come in.
and that's it. And this was um, Delaware Avenue in Shore Acres. Bye guys.